So okay, Uchan, in the last session we completed about the aesthetic routing. In the, we we knew about uh, how many you know flavor we are having in the you know aesthetic routing. So how many flavors do we have? Two flavors of the aesthetic routing. Two flavors or four flavors? Yeah, four flavors, but we are completed two flavors. So what are those four? Uh, static route. Right. Static default, yeah. Static Training. default, not this default. Static default route, okay. Okay, so, okay, sir. Static default. So route. when we are having a single path to reach somewhere from source to destination, in this case we are using static routes, right? When in the yes, last sir. is in the last is let's suppose so in this kind of scenario we are we are we are using in this in this router, uh, we are using static default route, right? Yes, sir. So this will these are the scenario. First thing. Second thing, uh, third flavor is static load balancing. OK. OK. Sir. And fourth is static. Float floating route. route. OK. Yes. So what are these both? We know uh, we will know today and uh, we'll do the practical before that we'll cover that, uh, you know, uh, theoretical parts. So this static routes and static defaults route we are using in this kind of scenario when we are having a single part to reach the destination but with this both we are using when we have we are having a multiple path to reach the destination okay <laughs> this kind of yes, scenario sir. we are having okay this kind of scenario we are having and this is our source this is our destination let's suppose this pc wanted to reach to the air here in this in this place okay so it will come to the router router is having a multiple path to send the send the packet via this one or via this one okay so in that kind of in that kind of scenario we can do static floating no static load balancing and where we can do static load floating i will just explain in after this you know our practical okay so let's begin with the practice yes, so first first static a load balancing okay so for pre requirement of is to con configure the static load balancing and in which scenario we can we can do the load balancing and and this kind of topology we need to create that i'm just uh, explaining you so static load balancing the pre requirement is pre requirement is this interface type the cable type okay must be a same type of cable must be same okay second thing <clears throat> when we using this let's suppose this interface of this router is having a you know uh, uh like you know if it is connected to the serial then it's it, this side also will be a serial let's suppose if it, it if these are not using the serial cable and these are using it just a cat 6 cable we are using the page cable so in this kind of like uh, in scenario when you we let's suppose this side we are having a fast ethernet so this side also must be a fast ethernet only if this side is ethernet only so this side also must be ethernet only means cable type and the interface type must be a same okay so in this scenario yes, we can sir. use the load balancing the speed speed to speed means the the capability of carry the packets should be a same like 1.44 mbps is a by default you know capability of any serial cable <clears throat> okay so both are serial cable so both are the capable for 1.44 mbps okay this are the when when we router is our routers are connected in the together okay in the router are connected together into nearby in that case but when what if like let's suppose this is a router and there is a multiple isps in this kind of scenario we cannot in this kind of scenario we cannot do right so we, we will do it, but we are having a different option for that that we will cover in upcoming classes and but understanding where, whether it is an ISP side or whether it is in your internal network, you should be you should be follow the basic basic requirement of the uh, you know your uh, requirements. OK. So let's begin yes, how, to, how to how to configure. So in this scenario we are having, you know, uh, we will consider this this network as our so destination network. OK, this this will be our, you know, anything we can use one dot one dot any any IP we are using. Let's suppose for this router, this 30 dot 30 dot zero network will be a destination. OK, 
So the way of configuration is same like IP route. IP route <clears throat> after that 192.168.30.0 means destination network and destination subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the next hope via 10.2 or via 20.2. Okay, got it. So first we'll, yes. we'll set via 10.2 and the same way we can keep all this same. Okay, and via 20.2. Uh, so this will be the our command. Okay. To, to configure the load balancing clear. Yes, sir. To reach to reach where 30.0 network by means this network like these are the networks which is connected with the 30.0 network. So if anyone wanted to reach 30 dot network. We have a multiple path. First path is a via 10.2 via 20.2 is the second path. OK. Yes. OK, so go ahead. Open this router. The CLI. Enable configuration terminal interface first is a serial. This is a serial cable. So interface serial 0 by 1 by 0. I think 1 by what? 0 only 1 by 0. OK, IP address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. In the same way, we are having one more 0 by 1 by 1. And IP address is a IP address is 192.168.20.20.1255.255.255.0. Okay, no shutdown. You got it. So now we have a second router in this in this side. We we need to configure about three networks. So which is the first is enable configuration terminal, and after that is interface serial. Which 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 one is it? Let me check. One by zero only. Okay. So this is a one by zero. The first one. Then second one is a one by one. OK, so interface one by zero. Interface serial. One. one by zero. One by zero IP address. 192.168.10.2 and 255.255.255.0 and no set down. After that, we have one more network interface serial. One by one. IP address 192.168.20.2 and 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. OK, so yes, basic sir. configuration is done. We have a one more network that is a 30.30.0 network. So we'll configure the about 30.1, which is connected in the fast Ethernet 0 by 1. OK, so yes. exit interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 IP address 192.168.30.1255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. OK, got it. Done. So this is the this was the configuration which was basic configuration. Now we'll do the static load balancing. So for the static load balancing. So exit IP route 0 dot not 0 192.168 dot to reach the 30 dot 0 with the subnet mask is a two, our destination will be 30 dot 0 right? This yes, network. Yeah. So 30 dot 0. So via via where 192. 192.168.10.2 first is a via via 10.2 right and second will via 20. Dot. We have a two path just a minute. I'm explaining you. <clears throat> Let's suppose there is one user. OK, connected with the one PC. With the IP address, let's suppose I'm giving 172.16.1.1. Okay, so 172.16.1.2 is a, this PC IP. Okay, now this PC wanted to reach 30.2. Okay, 30 so the packet okay. will be packet will be a source. What will the packet source IP? 172.16.1.2. Destination IP. 192.168.30.2. Okay. Yeah. Source source make. What is the make address of this PC? That is the A. And this is a let's suppose this is P, B. Okay. Source make address is the A. And destination make is a B. Okay. okay. After that, port number can be anything based on let's let's suppose this is a HTTP or HTTPS. So we are just considering a source port. As a port number 80, destination port as a port number 80. Okay, so this is our frame, or we can say our uh, you know packet 
packet. Okay. So the, this this packet will be reached to the where to the router. Now router is having a two path via serial one one by zero via serial one by one. Okay. Okay. Sir. It can send to this PC via via this way or via second way, right? So okay. yes, sir. For this for this PC while configuring for this router, which will be the next hop address? Why one is ten dot two. Second is twenty dot two. Yes. What is the by default AD value for the static route? AD value is one. Okay. Remember, by default AD value is a one. AD means administrative distance. In every routing protocol, there there is a, there is predefined AD value. Okay. Let's suppose we are having a you know. Um, Static route. Okay, we have RIP in dynamic route. We have a EIGRP in a dynamic route. We are having a OSPF in a dynamic route. So every routing protocol is having one number. Okay, that number is defined by I triple E. Okay, how how it is given based on their performance, based on their security, based on their Scalability, scalability. Okay, so multiple by you by you know comparing multiple parameters, they are providing uh some you know uh some we can say yeah. like uh some you know AD value, some numbers. Okay, like grade. So static okay. route is a more is a more secure, very secure, because we are handling. There is no any algorithm are using RIP is a 120. Okay, means it is. Okay. 120 EIGRP is 90 OSPF 110. So what is the meaning? Means less number is highest valuable. Less less priority is less value is highest secure and security. okay. Yes, highest number is a low security. Okay. So whenever we are using, we are going for the based on our requirement, we can choose our state uh, protocols. Okay. Let's suppose you, if you are if you are having a you don't know about this dynamic routing protocol as of now, so I don't go with this. Okay, so let's suppose you are running multiple you know routing protocol RIP and OSPF in one router. So RIP is having you configured both the things. Okay, RIP and OSPF. So it will router will not run with the both the uh, protocol. Router will run with the single protocols. Either it is it will run with the RIP, other it will run with the OSPF. So we configured both. Okay, so it will by default it will choose to whom RIP or OSPF. Yes, what? It will RIP choose or? the lowest one. Okay. Secure RIP one. and OSPF. Ah, uh, the secure one. It will by default choose when you are using when you are configuring this is a router, and when you are configuring in this router RIP, and also you are configuring second protocol that is your Uh, that is your that will be your uh, OSPF. Okay, so OSPF, so RIP and OSPF is there. So in these cases, we can do. Uh, we are having, you know, this 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 is having a AD value is a 120. This is having a AD value is a 90. Okay. Yes. So by default, router will go with the by default router will go with the lowest one. Okay. Ah, uh, just a minute, na huh? be online. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, I had one call, so that's reason. Okay, so this is the this is the way how the routers are choosing the, um, pro, you know, protocols. Okay. Yes. Sir. Got it. 
So by <laughs> default, we are having a AD value is a one. So in this scenario, I will keep AD value. OK. Same for both for 10.2 also for 20.2 also. OK, so okay. if I keep AD value same, then the path will be as equal for our packet. OK, the router will understand once we configured into this router what we have to configure once we have configured a static route into this router we will do a what let me connect one pc into this so better understanding okay uh router switch i'm just using one switch into this and 2960 series then pc okay then pc so so in this case we have our pc okay connected okay so let me configure this ip into this pc also and to this i need to assign one ip into this okay so let's suppose 192.168.100.1 i'm using this okay 100.1 okay so let me configure in configuration terminal interface first ethernet 0 by 1 not 0 by 1, 0 by 0. IP address 192.168.100.1255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. Okay. Yes, Clear? Yes. So for this router, now I'm, I'm again I'm going to explain you because this these are the things load balancing, floating, static route, and static load balance, uh, you know, static default. Once you understand about this, this for the for this for uh, you know uh, flavor, then later it will make very easy easy for you to understand about the dynamic routing protocol okay any topology you can understand very easy so that's the reason we we will go slowly okay let's suppose this is a one pc okay this is a source and this is a destination okay and this is a source and this is a destination for each other right when the packet source means where the packet is going to start destination where the packet is going to end this pc also can become a source and he, this pc also can become like you know a destination because this PC also want to reach to this one and this PC also want to reach to this one. Both will be the source, both will be the destination for each other, right? When yes, it is sir. when it is started sending the packet, it will be a, it will be a source. When it is receiving the packet, it will be a destination. When when this PC is going to be started the you know sending the packet, it will be the source. And when this PC is uh, receiving the packet, this PC will become a destination. OK. Yes, sir. OK, so so let's suppose this PC is having uh, this PC wanted to reach the 30.2. OK, so it sent to the packet to the router. A router is received the packet. Router will check the routing table. OK, I am having a you know where to where this packet wanted to go 30.2. How many path I am having via via I am having 10.2 via I am having another part 20.2. OK, so in this case, in this case, if 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 both are having a same value value one value one so that this router will define half packet will send via this one via 10.2 half packet will send via 20.2 got okay, it because yes. both type of cable is the same type of port is the same okay so <clears throat> so both the half half packet will reach together at the same time into this this router Okay. Again, this both the packet will become like a single packet and after that it will send to via this way and the PC will receive. OK. Yes, sir. clear in the same way I, for let's suppose this PC 30.2 wanted to reach uh, 100.2. OK, 100.2. Okay. Got it my point yes, now 30.2. Yes, now the 30.2 will send the packet. So again, the packet will generate and packet will come to that. Uh, this router and this router is having a multiple path. This router will also having a multiple path. Whether first will be at via 10.1 or via 20.1. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, so via 10.1 it will half packet will come and half packet will come via 20.1. The router yes. will receive the packet and it will send to the this PC. Got it? Yes, sir. Now everything yes, clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's suppose I uh, we are going to configure once again for this. Okay. In so how to configure configuration terminal 
IP route and 0 0.0, not 0, 192.168.30.0, 30.0 mm -hmm. with 255.255.255.0. Means for this router, this will be the destination network, right? Yes, sir. So first, what is the, our, uh, you know, the 30.0 network is our? Destination. Destination. Okay. So 30.0 will be our destination. Now, now we have to do where uh, via 192.168.10.2. Okay. Yes, sir. IP road to 192.168.30.0.255.255.0. Wait a minute. IP route. IP route where 192.168.30.0 network via 255.255.255.0 and to whom 192.168. dot where 192.168. dot not 10 10 dot 10 dot 2 via 10 dot 2 okay and second one will become 20 dot 2 okay so I'm just changing this 20 dot 2 okay yes 20 dot 2 got it both is configured yes. if you chose so if you check so IP route so what is what this router is telling if if anyone wanted to reach 192.168.30.0 we have a two path one is via yes. 10.2 and second mm -hmm. is having via 20.2 yes here yes sir clear there is no load balancing in this all the network so that is the reason there is a single direction right yes these are directly connected if you do routing also there was no multiple path but here there is a multiple path via 10.2 via 20.2. What is my point? Yes, sir. Yes. In the same way, if this PC wanted to reach, if this PC wanted to reach 100.1, then we have a multiple what? Multiple path, uh, right? Path. Enable yes, configuration sir. terminal, IP route. First, first is a first of all, we need to you know configure uh, so IP interface brief. So IP has been assigned. OK, 30, 10 and 20 has been already assigned. So configuration terminal IP route. Where do you want to go? 192.168.100.0 with the 255.255.255.0 via 192.168.10.1. Via 10.1. Via 10.1 via means this is this via this way or via this way. OK, so via 10.1 or via 20.1. There is a multiple path. So first will use a via 10.1. Our destination is uh, yeah, 192, 168, 10, uh, 100.1, correct? 100.0. If I use 100.1, then it, the, the request will be reached to the 100.1. If you are, if you are, you know, there is an IP and a network I, IP and network ID, there is a both the different. When you are putting 192.168.100.1, one hundred dot one. So where it is assigned into the router, right? Router interface. Yes. When you are putting one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot hundred dot zero means entire whenever the whatever whoever this the PC is having this IP hundred dot zero. In this series, hundred dot one, hundred dot two, hundred dot three, up to hundred dot two fifty four. Okay, hundred dot two fifty. So, so if you if you use network ID, this is the network ID and this is the network IP. Okay, yes. IP we are assigning for the particular PC or particular host, but network ID is identity for all these IPs. Okay. Okay, sir. So we are we will always use whenever we are doing when we are assigning inter IP into this interface, you will use the IP like thirty dot one. When you are doing the routing at that time, you need to advertise entire 30.0 series okay let's okay, suppose 30.2 is connected so 30.3 30.4 for all we don't need to use to single routing okay up to 30.254 okay. okay so if you are if you are advertising 30.0 means it is for all the pcs yeah okay yes sir if you're advertising IP only 30.1 means you are you are doing routing for particular 30.2 or 30.1 OK, yes, so while assigning the PC, assigning IP, assigning any, you know, uh, address into any PC or any host that time you are assigning what you are assigning particular uh, for the particular PC. But when you're doing the routing, you need to advertise all this in, in network. So that is the reason uh, it will become for whether it is 30.3, 30.4, it will be used for all. OK, yes, sir. Now, now 10.1. 
now we have one more like via 10.20.2 uh, right 20.1 20.1 so now we have a so ip route okay so again if you check we have if if this pc wanted to reach 100.0 okay 100.0 network via 10.1 or via 20.1 okay yes yes sir. so let me let me assign some ip into this pc 30.2 the so 192.168 192.168. Uh, what is that? Um, 30.2. 30 30 I'm just using. Okay. 30.2. 192.168.30.1 .1 is where gateway. Okay. Okay. In the same way, here 100.2. Here 192.168.100.2. Okay. And 192.168.100.1. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 100.1 will be the gateway, right? Yes, sir. Yes. The gateway. Yes. So uh, let me ping from 100.1 to 30.2. Ping 192.168.100, uh, no, 30.2. No, okay. 30. So wait, 30.2. So the packet will start it, and it will it it is first first time it is pinging, so some packet will drop. Okay. Yes. So there is it, the packet is reachable now, but you don't know how it is going, right? So yes, for that there is debug IP ICMP to check the packet. Okay. Debug IP ICMP into the uh, uh, this mode. Okay. Again, if I okay. please mute yourself. Again, if I if I hit this 30.2. Now here, if you check into this router, how the packet is coming, it's also because packet is coming here. In this also, I'm just using debug IP ICMP. Okay. So let me retry once again. 30.2. So if I'm hitting here, here any packet? No, because uh, we need to keep it as on so that then only it will, it will be a, it will so. Otherwise it will not so. Okay. So let me hit once again 30.2, 30.2, and here 30.2. So if it is not showing, we can use use for the simulation mode. Okay, start, and when we are sending again the packet. Okay, next, next, next. We we it will come where. It will, it will, this router will distribute the packets, okay? Just a minute, yes. uh, real time. And again, I'm using some simulation packet. Okay, minimize this. Okay, let's suppose I'm using this packet. I choose this packet and I want to send this packet to this PC. How it is coming? Reach to the switch. After switch to that router, router to a uh, first one, the first one to switch switch to the pc again replying again it is sending the router router will be ascending to the another path via this this is the way how the packet are reaching together okay but in this pc i do not have any option because debug ip icm debug ip icmp is not working on to this so that is the reason otherwise i will be able to show you how the packet is reaching via 10.2 and via 20.2 okay or via 10.1 or via 10.20.1 got it so this is the this is about how what is that load balancing it is not it is not now it is not seems that uh, 50 50 packet is sending to the wire 10.1 and 50 packet is sending to the 20.2 but you it, it it when you are having some you know uh, uh, some pet of some you know we are having some application to uh, drag this you know track that all the traffic that is called i'm just forget the name some you know Packet capturing tools are there. So in this case, yeah, in this Wireshark. kind of Wireshark, in the Wireshark, you can yeah. you can find that. Okay. Yes, sir. So okay. So now we will discuss about the. So hope I believe you understand about this static routing, static default, yes, yes. static static load balancing, right? Yes, sir. So yeah. now now we will cover. Now we will go about the static floating route. Okay, this is a static floating load. Static floating. And static load balancing. So we static load balancing we are done. Static load balancing that is we have done right. The static load balancing is done, and static floating we'll have to do. Okay. So let's close this all the session. Now, now we will we again. I need to explain something about this. So what is the this? So just let me take this scenario. Okay. So in static floating, ignore this.
we have a router but we do not have you know and the same kind of pc we are having okay 192.168.100.1 with the pc 100.2 ip okay got it so yes, source and destination the same scenario the different is the, the type of cable okay and the type of is uh, you know different between the speed this is uh, our uh, fast ethernet so fast ethernet is by default is speed is 100 mbps of this cable type okay or we can use this interface type okay when we talk about the serial cable which is red one okay red one is a serial cable do you know about the serial cable have you ever seen that what is the serial cable you don't know no? i'm just showing you yeah So these are the cable. These are the type of cable. Okay, image I'm showing you. Okay, so both the side will be the same type of same type of cable. So this kind of this is a, your it is it is in it is connected into this monitor, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is not our this is the type of serial cable that but we we are not using into the router. Okay, uh, for router. Okay. So these are the cables that we are using into the serial. Uh, into these are the these are the serial cable. Okay. Yes, sir. So both both the, this kind of cables are known as a serial cable. Okay. Yes, sir. So this this cable is by default is speed is 1.544 Mbps. Okay. So the yes. different the cap the type of you know cable is a different. So is, and the speed is a different. So in this kind of scenario, let's suppose why we are using this kind of situation. Uh, let's suppose I am using one router which is connected with the one single ISP which is connected with the switch and switch is connected with the less multiple PCs are connected. Okay, there is a single cable and a single ISP. Let's suppose what if this ISP, ISP connection is down because no one can give you 100% uptime. Okay, into 365 days. Okay, seven. Yes, got it, my point. So yeah. in this can in this kind of situation we have to use our our requirement is. Uh, one more ISP will purchase. Okay, let's suppose this is a 100 Mbps of speed I'm getting in the second ISP. I need when in case by this is my primary ISP, but in case if the primary ISP is down in that scenario, I will I will go with I will go with whom I will go with uh, this router uh, this ISP. Okay, but I cannot use both the ISP together. Okay. Okay. When primary is down, that time only this secondary will uh, secondary will take the responsibility and to send the packet. When okay. the when again this primary is up, this secondary will stop doing and the primary will become primary again. OK. okay. So in yes. this kind of scenario, we are using a floating route, a static floating route when we don't when we don't have a equal path or equal type of you know cable or equal type of interface. In this kind of scenario, we are using static floating routes. OK, so in the static floating route at a time only thing first higher first will be take responsibility to receive and send the packet. Second will will become uh, take responsibility when the pri primary will become down. OK. OK. So in this can what is the difference between the configuration into the both? So I will just explaining you enable configuration terminal interface first Ethernet, uh, which one not first Ethernet, serial serial cable, right? So we'll use serial uh, one by zero. Uh, IP address is a 192.168.11.1. I'm using 255.255.255.0. Okay, and no shutdown. Clear. After that, we yes, are having sir. a fast Ethernet zero by zero. So into in here only I can use int fa zero by zero IP address 192.168.12.1255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. Okay, no shutdown. So that is IP IP I have assigned. OK, let me let me connect one more PC here. Switch. With the switch. Here I am connected and here after that I need let me connect with the cable. OK, some IP let's suppose same IP I'm using 192 192.168.100.1. OK, under dot one I'm using yes. here and dot two I'm using here. OK, so in this kind of scenario we can use. We will use uh, IP route. 192.168 where do you want to reach? Uh, we want to reach 13.0 network. OK, so 13.0 will become our 
destination 13.0 will be our destination with the subnet mask 255255255.0 uh, but via via which one 10. Dot, via uh, 11.11.2 .11 will become our primary okay so by default by default 192.168.11.1 i'm using okay as a 11.1 11.0 sorry 11.2 i'm using this as a 11.2 okay so in the 11.2 uh, whenever the user wanted to reach 13.0, it will choose. It will go via 192.168.11.2, and I'm not using. I'm hitting the enter. Okay, hmm, got okay. it. Yeah. And again, path second path I'm having that is a 12.2. Okay, so I'm using 12.2 to reach the 13.0. Okay, first path hmm. is a via 11.2. Second path is a via 12.2. But but if I enter here. It will become a load balancing. OK. Yes. It will become a load yes. balancing. So I don't want to you know, use a load balancing for that. I will use space and by default here I just enter to 11.2 and enter right. So in this kind yes. of in, in this scenario means it will choose automatically a AD value by default is a one. OK. OK, but I, if I increase the AD value is, is a 20 or 10 or anything up to 250 up to 255 okay then the lower will become my primary and the you know higher will become my secondary so i'm using by default first 11.11.2 will become my primary so uh, um, the id value i kept it here one if i'm using secondary is a 12.2 secondary path so so in this scenario i will just increase the id value of this path okay so in this case, I'm using a 20 or I'm using a 30, 14. I'm using a 35. So let's suppose I'm using a, you know, a 22. Uh, which one? Any address like 12 by meeting. So it is it is in the, the 12 meaning of this 12 means I'm just increasing the AD value for this path. OK, so by default, it will choose primary as a lowest one. So lowest means if I if I just hint enter 11.2 right so in this case i can use one also that is also the same if i if, if i'm using 11.2 without without you choosing one that is also fine because by default it will choose one for the for this okay got yes, it sir. so yes, i'm using a one or i cannot use one that is also fine now then so ip route so if you check uh, where do you want to go 13.0 so via via where 12.2 but why it is not showing what is showing here? 12, right? Yeah, 12. yeah. So what is the meaning of 12? 12 Let me configure uh, configuration terminal and uh, uh, IP route 192.168.13.0255.255.255.0 via 192.168. That another thing is 192.168 and uh, 12. 12.2 it is chosen a uh, 12.2 is the highest one right so it should choose it should choose uh, which one at 11.2 11 11.2 right so 11.11.2 11 i'm using 11.2 11 192.168.13.0255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255
another another interface we have right for zero by one interface first ethernet zero by one ip address what is the ip address so ip address is 13.0 so 13.1 will become my ip 192.168.13.1 and 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown okay so i have assigned ip into the all the interfaces now i will go for the ip route where for to reach the where the destination ip will be 192.168.100.0 Via to with subnet mask two five five two five five dot zero via eleven dot one right one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot eleven dot one got it got it na eleven dot one eleven dot one will become our if I hit in inter means eleven dot will become we choose our primary and second one is the twelve dot one okay so twelve dot one is the secondary twelve dot 12.1, but I need to increase their AD value as a uh, 200. I'm using. Okay, so no, so the so IP route. So now check to reach where to reach 192.168.100.0. Which one it is choosing? 1.0. 1. 192.168.11.1 via 11.1 11 .1 because 11.1 11 .1 is having a zero priority, right? One priority. AD value yeah, is a one. Yes. And the second one is a say so IP route. So second one is again if you 200. check in this router also. Now I'm using this. Now I'm checking to this router which I already configured. Again it is choosing which one? 1.0 to I 11.2, yes. right? So lowest okay. AD value it will choose choose to become a primary. Okay. Let's suppose I'm 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 just shut down. I need to go configuration terminal interface serial one by zero. I'm just doing the I'm just shutting down the interface. Okay. Now shut down. Okay. Now if you check, so now if you check, uh, so IP route. Okay. So again, again will become which one will become our 192.168. There is no route, right? Let me check. So IP route. It should become so IP interface brief. 13.1. It should so no so IP route. Why it is not going to choose configuration terminal interface? What was that? One by zero and no shutdown. If I use so IP route, it will become choose. Okay, just a minute. Okay, now it is come become it 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 back. Okay, so now uh, let me shut down this interface zero by zero. Okay. If I use zero by zero configuration terminal interface uh, interface serial one by zero. OK, I'm just going to do the shutdown. It should be if it is down, then again by default this 12.1 become a primary which is not happening here. So IP route in, in, in now it is showing here, right? So now again yeah. now now what is that via 12.2 before it was 11.2, right? If you check it was 12.2. And uh, after that, we again we checked it right. So via 12.2, via 11.2, it was earlier. It was 11.2 was the best path, right? Yes. And sir. now, now 11.2 is down. So now again, which one is become become a primary? The 12.2 is 12 become a primary. Okay. So this is the yes. way how we are how we are using so IP route. So now it is 13.1, 13.2. It is not showing. Might be there is some you know configuration mistake. So don't worry about this. So this is the way how we are using and in in which scenario we are using floating route and which scenario we are using a static load balancing. I believe everything has been clear as of now. Yes, if you sir, if you are fine, then I will go for to stop the recording. Okay. Yes. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Sir.